Right, we're looking at revision on multiple reactions and how to set up rate equations. Consider the following set of reactions where we have A goes reversibly to B, the forward rate constant is K1 and the reverse rate constant is K2, and then we have a, another reaction where A and B react in turn uh, to form 2C and the rate constant is K3. Um, the first question we can ask is what is the relationship between K1 and K2 and the equilibrium constant? And that we can see is if we just look at this first reaction, we could write that the rate A for this reaction would be uh, minus K1 CA plus K2 CB, and at equilibrium that would be equal to naught. Or what we would have is if we rearrange that equation, CB over CA is equal to K1 over K2, and that would actually be equal to your equilibrium constant, because if you think of the equilibrium constant, is equal to the concentration of products over reactants. So what we have, therefore, is that K2 is equal to K1 over K equilibrium. And so any time you set up a system like this, you have to make sure that you, you, that you don't independently set up the two rate constants for the reversible reactions, they have to have a relationship with the equilibrium constant, and that comes from thermo. And so only one of these can be set up and the other one follows. Now let's have a look how would we write the rate expressions. If we were writing the rate expression for the system of reactions now, we would say rate A from the first reaction is minus K1CA, um, but we would be forming A from the second, the reverse reaction, and then we would also be using A up in this reaction, and so what we would write, therefore, is minus K3 CA. Similarly, let's see if we can write rate B. Rate B, then, is equal to, we're forming B in the first reaction, so it's K1 CA. We're using it up in the reverse reaction, and then we're also using it up in the second reaction, and I've made a mistake here, sorry, that's if it's elementary, it's K3CACB, and similarly, that would be KACACB. Now, the next question we can ask is, what would rate C be? Well, rate C is being used up in that third reaction. It's a positive, it's a K3, it's CACB, but it's being used up twice as fast as A or B, and so it would have a 2. So that would be the rate expression when you have a system of reactions. So notice how you can combine the reactions and how you add them um, as we've done and also how you have to relate here that there's two moles of C being formed for every mole of A or B that is being used up in that reaction.